Okay, guys, um, showed some, some ways to use some sweeps uh, and catch the ankle lock in that transition where you're sweeping the guy and he's either defending the sweep or he's thinking about defending the sweep and you can attack the ankle. Let's now talk about escaping a good straight ankle lock, okay? So I don't know if Mihai here can put me in a good straight ankle lock, but we're gonna find out. All right. It's weird because now you're like the Uki's like, I don't even know if I can say anything. I'm not supposed to talk. Just have to. So this is uh, quite a situation. The reality is if he grabs the ankle lock and he does it properly, it's just like the arm bar of the rear naked choke. I don't think that I'm telling you, you're, you know, this escape's going to work on a perfectly timed straight ankle lock. But the reality is most of the time you've got a moment or two. Um, you have a little bit of a boot. They didn't grab it perfectly. And if that's the case, you'll be able to, uh, to escape it. So I'm here, and he's going for the straight ankle lock, and I may not feel like I have time to get to the collar, although that's a, that's a fantastic defense. Get to the collar and strengthen your boot. If I don't feel like my ankle's about to explode, then I won't do the most basic counter, which is to grab it, kick your leg through as, 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 as far as possible. Okay, so he goes for the straight ankle lock here. What I'm gonna do is act like I'm gonna run and I'm gonna put my, the crook of my knee at this knee here, okay? And at this point, I'm gonna kick this leg open. I'm not gonna turn too soon. I'm gonna crawl my hands off the mat. So I'll go one, two, three, and I'll end up taking top control in a really nice s mounted situation. Now I'm gonna have to tighten it up, but I'll come to the top here in a great situation. Really good control. Let's go back again. Like so many submissions, he's isolating, you know, uh, he's isolating my leg and he's controlling it, he's pinching it. So this is the issue, the leg's isolated, it's controlled between his legs. I have to deal with this to get out. I act like I'm gonna run, I open his legs up, the mistake most people make is they open it and they try to come up too soon here, okay? I'm gonna have some momentum here by climbing off the mat and coming to the top. And this is, um, give a shout out here to Brandon Russell, who's a, a really high level competitor, one of my brown belts. Um, he's moving to Denver, unfortunately, but awesome guy. And he, he's uh, gotten really good at this escape. He's escaped a lot of my attacks with this exact escape. So uh, it's been really rewarding for me. I've only seen it from one coach, uh, Max Bishop, who showed it to me. Haven't seen it anywhere else. And then to teach it to him and then him use it on me has been really awesome. So I have a lot of faith in this escape. Just like all submissions that are legit though, it's all about timing. If, if you allow, if that guy got your ankle properly, uh, you know, and there's a good opportunity, there's a good possibility that you're just not gonna be able to counter it, but that's no different than any arm bar escape you've learned or escaping the bow and arrow or whatever. Um, when the, you know, you don't have the advantage you're defending. So um, anyway, in real time, he grabs the ankle lock from me. Boom. Open, run, 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 come to the top.